right guys we're going to go over some airplane tactics and maneuvers and uh, uh, give you a few pointers on how to be better pilots in the game Battle Supremacy Evolution. So let's just go ahead and find a live room right now. Maybe we'll get lucky and, and we won't find too busy of a room. Okay, good. We got one Switching opponent. One opponent, so that's going to make this a little easier. Taking aircraft. So rows. since we're talking about aerial combat, um, you're looking at two different versions of combat. You have air-to-air -air combat, and you're going to have air-to-ground combat. So in both of those types of combat your ability to turn is extremely important Shields up. so the best way to turn is to slow down your airspeed and your Shields turns down. go hand in hand Shields up. so if you slow down you Shields can turn down. better um, you Locked also on. notice that if I just let go of the throttle altogether Locked. that the plane still flies and it still maneuvers or well, it doesn't maneuver itself but it still throttles itself and you're going at a fairly slow pace um, you should also note though that at that slower pace that the plane is going to maneuver much better your airspeed and your ability to turn go hand in hand so with that in mind um, most people are going to be flying fast right so um, what you do in that case is when you want to turn, um, if you want to make a super sharp turn, you want to use your throttle and brake simultaneously, or alternate between the two, throttle brake, throttle brake, boost brake, whatever you want to call it. And you see how tight I made that turn? So um, when you translate that into air to air combat, if you can get yourself turned around faster, you're going to be much more effective. So. Now I'm going to talk about two different uh, strategies for air to ground combat. The first one I call dive bombing and the second one I call hit and run. So when you hit and run, you, you turn your shields on, whoops, I went and screwed myself all up here. Let's get our aircraft back. See, it happens to the best of us. Uh, when you're talking about hit and run, you're coming in fast. You're going to let your missiles go, and then you're going to get out of there. The idea is to uh, use your shields you know, efficiently and effectively. So what we're going to do is we're going to have some altitude here. We're going to come in. We're going to slow down a little bit. Locked on. We're going to figure shields. out where our target's at. We lost him. We didn't find him. Okay, there he is. So we're going to come shields back down. around. I'm going to get my shields on. Boom, boom, boom. Hit and run. I'm out of there. He is going to have a hard time hitting me now because I just shields went the other up. direction. My shields are going to go back up. Uh, we're going to come back after him. Shields down. And Target locked. bang, 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 bang. Okay. That's hit and run. Is that an effective locked. strategy? Yeah, it actually is quite effective. Um, notice now that what I'm doing is I'm running. You, and the reason why I'm running is, is because I'm out of shields. And I don't want to get shot. So what I'm doing is I'm evading or getting away so that my shields have time to recover. So that's hit and run and the key is keeping track of your shields. Your next aerial tactic is what I call dive bombing. Dive bombing is exactly what it sounds like but you just do it a little bit slower. Um, I think dive bombing is probably the more effective aerial strategy out of the two but you really have to pay close attention. Um, to your shields because as soon as your shields go down or you run out of shields you're in trouble so you always want to make sure you save some shields so that you can make your escape so where's my threat at if i don't find him pretty soon oh there he is we're just going to go spawn frag him let's be bad kids so okay i'm going to get my altitude i'm getting my brakes on okay what i'm doing is i'm looking for him there we go okay now i'm riding the brakes down and i'm keeping my shields on and that's a dive bomb and that's all there is to it and I'll kind of go over it again because I wasn't expecting him to come off the ground Shields down. Um, but a dive bomb is going to be just like this you find your target you put on the brakes you should keep shooting of course you shields want to keep up. your shields up see and you can stay like this for quite some time and what I'm doing is I'm alternating between gas and brakes the problem with this technique though is that I'm out of shields now so you better get the heck out of there while you still have shields or that guy's going to take you out especially if he's got a stronger tank than you do. So there you have it. Uh, that would be two techniques, dive bombing and we'll call the other one hit and run. And 
you got turns. So remember your air speeds and turns go hand in hand. And yeah. practice your loops like this around something because it gives you a perspective and it helps you figure out exactly what to do with the control. So if you practice your loops where you can see what's going on, like around the mothership, it helps you keep your controls better or more straight. So I'm having a little trouble here. I'm getting shot at and talking at the same time. So let me get some nice loops for you so that you can see that it can be done. There's a good one. And I'm also using a little bit of boost and break to keep my loops straight. So it can be done. All you gotta do is practice a little bit. Keep in mind I am a keyboard player. I don't care much for game pads. And uh, you know, like I said before, I'm an Atari 2600 guy. I want one button and a joystick. So, but with that being said, you know, that's pretty much what you have here with this airplane. You have two buttons on the keyboard that I'm primary, primarily using while I'm flying the plane. And basically just the mouse. So, I mean, it really isn't going to get any easier than that. Um, there's some more brakes, air speeds. Oops. And, you know, that's nice too. We don't crash. Anyway, there's some more brakes, some more air speed. There we go, let's just kind of finish the video with some really good turns and taking this guy out in an aerial to aerial fight. I'm going to keep my shields up. And there you go. Simple as that. Tight turns, slow down, your turns will get better. Manage your radar. You guys are going to do fine. Good luck. Oh, gosh, snake ass.